Hello everybody, this is Dreaming about back for part two, well round one, part two of the Earthshakers tournament. And yes, part one was quite a glistening quartet of matches we had. And let's hope that part two is just as good or maybe even better. So at first, in our first match of this video, we have the Stegosaurus taking on Psychania, a big clash that could be. The Sorrow Pelter going up against Edmontonia. Well, this will be a very interesting clash down here. The Alpha Woohoosaurus taking on the Woohoosaurus. And last but not least, we have the Gigant Spinosaurus taking on Armadus. And let's get on with our first matchup. Yes, in the red corner, we have the Stegosaurus. And this time, I am actually recording in 60 FPS, because I'm going to see if 60 FPS actually works with this quality. I did have a little bit of lag trouble before, so hopefully we won't have that again. Yes, yeah, so last one was recorded at 50 FPS, and I did try to uh, remove the in-game music as well, so I could implement my own, as I'm sure you noticed. I used the Dr. Z battle theme. This time, I've not done the suppre noise suppression thingy I did last time. But anyway, in the blue corner, we have one of the tournament favourites, the Psychania. And it's easy to see why this Cychania will pack a punch. But it is also up against another one of the, well, more outsider favourites, the Stegosaurus. Oh, we start with a tie. Ties favour probably Cychania more. Seem to take less damage. Ooh, but... The Stegosaurus is opening up with its signature move of Spike Arrows. We definitely saw the damage Spike Arrows did in the anime, and I suspect it's... Oh, look at that! And an elemental power as well. Not that it's going to need it at this point, because one hit from the Spike Arrows will finish off Cychania. Ooh, that hit wasn't coming, the Cychania gets the draw. Another draw. Can the Cychania strike back? Ooh, it does strike back. And it's light recovery time. And it's an earthquake. Cychania roaring back into this match. Boosh. The Stegosaurus is... The Stegosaurus could be getting crushed under the weight of the earth here. Well, it did get crushed. And the Cychania has earned itself a decisive lead because I'm not convinced that paper and scissors will be enough to kill the Cychania. Oh, that's another tie. One more tie will finish off the Steg. There's a tight first round match, this. And the first round goes to Cychania, with a well-timed tail smash, bludgeoning the Stegosaurus's pea-sized brain, and finishing it off to give the Cychania a 1-0 lead. Boosh! The purple hedgehog there, looking mightily impressive, despite getting blasted by the spike arrows early on. But it's still time for the Stegosaurus yet, as we approach round two. Okay then, round two between these, these two Earth Shakers. Which one of these purple beasts will be going through? Will it? Can the Cychania get that 2-0 win it needs to go through? Or can the Stegosaurus keep their tournament hopes alive? with an equalising win. Ooh, good start from the Cychania there, getting off the first hit. Not much damage dealt though, as both of these two are more focused on the crit. Oh, definitely Stegosaurus. Ooh, but, but, the Cychania is getting off the Earthquake. The Stegosaurus tried to spike arrows and failed. Could Stegosaurus's dreams of winning this tournament be crushed? Or can it mount a comeback? Oh, RNG's being silly again. Ugh, I hate it when RNG does this. Ooh, has Stegosaurus turned this match around? Spike Arrows is imminent. Yeah, sorry about that. The, the, the random number generator does act funny sometimes. And I refuse to use the other random move generator thing that's been created, because that thing's rubbish. I ought it's, it's, it's terrible. <laughs> I refuse to use it. Oh, that's a tie. 
Although the Cyclinia didn't take as much damage as the Steg did. Well, no, actually, the Steg has a better crit. Well, despite they having a better crit than Cyclinia, the Stegosaurus is down. And Cyclinia takes a 2 0 win. Of course, both of those matches were quite close, actually, so could have easily have gone either way. But, in this case, both matches went Cyclinia's way. And that was quite an impressive win by the Cyclinia. Will it go far in this tournament? Will it follow the footsteps of other golds that pre preceded it in winning their own tournaments? We'll just have to see, won't we? But anyway, enough about that first matchup. On to our second matchup, which sees the Sorrow Pelter taking on Edmontonia. Yeah, I've decided to spice things up a little bit. Add some different characters this time. But anyway, in the red corner, I'm gonna... <coughs> Sorry about that. In the red corner, we have the Sorrow Pelter, the Thai specialist in this tournament. Expect to see Sand Trap see a lot of use with this guy. However, it will be tough because in the blue corner, we have the Edmontonia. And yes, as I, ju as I just said, decide to spice things up a bit and use different characters because it's getting sick of Max and Rex all the time. <laughs> so yeah, for the Earth Tournament, we'll, we'll, we'll mainly use Ed because he specialises in Earth Dinosaurs. But any dinosaurs that featured in the anime, if they were used by the Space Pirates, we'll use them. So in Edmontonia's case, we'll use Gavro because he used it. Other than that, all the other characters be Ed. Do, 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 Okay, that's Skizzers. And that's also Skizzers. There's the tie. The charge type move breaker combo there. And here's the tie again. This Sorrow Pelter is charge type, so ties heavily favour him. And ties are all we get in so far. Sorrow Pelter's plan is working a treat. Although, no soundtrack. Mm, but the Edmontonia has derailed that scheme there with the opening hit, getting off that defense burst as well, which could come in handy. And Rock Roller has been triggered. However, back to the ties. Look at this. Edmontonia is basically dying to ties. Shows how powerful ties can be, but unfortunately for the Sorrow Pelter. The ties are not good enough in this tournament. And the Edmontonia takes a 1-0 lead. Wow, the Sorrow Pelter didn't even get a hit and it's still got Edmontonia's HP in the red. That shows how effective charge type can be. And the move breaker as well, which nullified the Edmontonia's moves. But it didn't help her in the slightest as Edmontonia t took a takes a 1-0 lead. Will we see Sand Trap in round two? Let's find out. Okay then, round two between these two. Wow, Sora Pelter has 1270 total type. You didn't get off a single sand trap. Quite surprising, actually. Can this Edmontonia close out this win? Or can the Sora Pelter strike back and even the score? <sighs> Not a good start from S for Sora Pelter. It's a death grind from the Edmontonia. And it could be grinding up any chances Sorrow Pelter has of going far in this tournament. Oh yeah, look at that damage. Beastly crit from the Edmontonia there, and Rock Roller has been triggered. Oh, um, I think it's game over. I think the Edmontonia has just won. Sorrow Pelter has definitely taken a beat in here. Sorrow Pelter's gone. Well, that's quite disappointing, actually. I thought Sorrow Pelter would be one of those sneaky ones in this tournament, but it just didn't happen for it. I, I would say, though, it did get quite unlucky with the lack of sand traps. I mean, how, I mean, how many ties did it did, ha, did occur in the first matchup in particular? And it didn't get off a single sand trap, and it didn't even get off a hit, because Edmontonia got two hits in the first match, and then it got two hits in this one, and one. So yep, yeah, good win for Edmontonia, advances to the last 12 where, where it will take on the Cyclonia. But commiserations to the Sorrow Pelter, it just didn't quite happen for it. Quite unlucky if I'm honest. But enough about that matchup, on to our third matchup of this session. And that sees Clash of Good vs Evil, where the Alpha Woohoosaurus takes on the regular Woohoosaurus. 
Okay, this should be quite interesting. In the red corner, we have the Alpha Woohoosaurus. Alpha Woohoosaurus, this is the poison type version. Could be one to watch in this tournament. Dino Stuffer could make it quite an annoying combatant to defeat here. However, in the blue corner, we have a regular Woohoosaurus. And I decided to use Rex instead of Ed because you kind of have like the Alpha one used and the normal one. But anyway, enough about that. This Woohoosaurus could pack a punch as well. Strong Woohoosaurus nuss this. And, well, one of them's gonna go through because <laughs> they're facing off against each other. Don't know if a Woohoosaurus look bigger than the normal one, or is it just me? Might this be the colour scheme? Do -do. Ooh, the Alpha Woohoosaurus getting off the first hit there. Not much damage dealt though. Oh, another hit coming from Alpha Woohoosaurus. Woohoosaurus not looking good there. The regular one, that is. Oh, here comes a crit. Here comes a softening beam. You know what that means? That means that the Woohoo the Woohoosaurus will sustain more damage. Oh no, it won't is dead. <laughs> that took me by surprise. Well, the Alpha Woo Woohoosaurus making quick work of the regular Woohoosaurus and taking a 1-0 lead, but it's still to play for as we move on to round two. Okay, round two between these two Woohoosauruses. I, I keep saying Woohoosaurus and I don't pronounce it properly. But Woohoosaurus. Can the regular Woohoosaurus strike back or can the Alpha Woohoosaurus continue to display its dominance? Ba-bing. Ooh, the regular Woohoosaurus. Oh, I got a hit, but the Dino stuff are coming in here, putting a stop to that crit. Ah, oh, I just stuffed a toy. But the Rock Roller has been triggered. Rock Roller won't be activating with that though, because the Alpha Woohoosaurus gets the first hit. And here comes a Giga Rock Hammer. Didn't see it at all in the first matchup. But we're seeing it here, smashing the Woohoosaurus away into pieces. And has that smashed any hopes the normal Woohoosaurus has of winning this matchup? Well, so far I'd say yes, because it can't get a hit. Yeah, I think that's game over for the normal Woohoosaurus. Hasn't even got off a hit. I don't think it's going to be going through. Alpha Woohoosaurus definitely showing its dominance, and yeah, there it is. I was kind of disappointing. I wanted to see the normal Woohoosaurus at least get a hit. I mean, it got the crit off, but the dino stuff has stopped it, so it doesn't really count. Oh, that was really disappointing. You know, I, I, I've never been a fan of those one-sided matches, but, you know, just have to take it, I'm afraid. And the Alpha Woohoosaurus going through to the last 12, where it will face tougher tests, but it definitely looked strong there. And regular Woohoosaurus will be bowing to the Alpha Woohoosaurus. Okay then, on to our final match of this session, which sees the Gigant Spinosaurus taking on Armidus. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have the Gigant Spinosaurus. Gigant Spinosaurus, the green, lovely green Stegosaurus. Could be one to watch in this tournament does pack the power of Earthquake there. However, in the blue corner, we have Armatus. Now, Armatus is definitely one to watch in this tournament as well. That Rock Roller could definitely pack a punch. And it has Poison type as well, so... Definitely a strong dinosaur, Armatus. Zip to me, zip to me! Ooh, we open with a tie. Ties favour no one by the looks of it, as both of our combatants sustain the same amount of damage. However, Armatus gets the first hit. Boosh! Not too much damage dealt, but Gally Rush will add a little bit more damage to it. Boosh! Gigant Spinosaurus, not off to the best of starts. 
as the rock roller gets triggered there. And both of our combatants went for a crit and neither one got it. Oh, that's another tie. Armatus on top so far. And Armatus staying on top and I think might have just won it. Nope. Not enough damage to finish off the Gigant Spinosaurus there. And, but I think this tie will finish the job. A strong start there from Armatus and it gives Armatus a 1-0 lead. Well played by Armatus. But don't count the Gigant Spinosaurus out yet. There's still time for it to turn this match around as we move on to round two. Okay then, round two between these Stegosaurs and which one will be going through? Will Armatus get a 2-0 win which will take him through to the last 12? Or can the Gigant Spinosaurus put up a fight? Whatever you said, Fools Cap. Ooh, now that's a very good start from the Gigant Spinosaurus. Strufio Rush incoming as well, and an earthquake to kick things off. Just the start Gigant Spinosaurus would have wanted. Oh my god, the damage! I, I, I realised that the Gigant Spinosaurus is quite a powerful crit. But look at that, Armatus already... Well, already dead and buried if Gigant Spinosaurus gets off a hit. Ooh, doesn't get off the hit though, but the Armatus does strike back with a triple headbutt. Armatus not done yet, although not much damage dealt there as the Gigant Spinosaurus's technique is lowered. Oh, oh, well look at this. Despite the strong start from Gigant Spinosaurus, I think Armatus might have just snatched this win with a rock roller. Smash! Oh, oh, nope, not enough. Armatus, not enough there with the Rock Roller to finish it off. But it does have the lead, and any sort of damage will win it for Armatus. Oh, and he got there! Well, despite a little bit of a fight back from the Gigant Spinosaurus, Armatus takes it out. Armatus looking really good here. An impressive win for Armatus, this. Knocking out the Gigant Spinosaurus and advancing to the last 12. <laughs> Armatus there, loud and proud as it wins with pride, I guess. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Quite quick matches this time. Not like evens like the first couple of matches were. But anyway, that's enough about that. Let's have a look at the bracket thingy and then we'll end the session. Hmm, it's not, not, not very um, even matches, those four. Well, except for this one. This one was quite even, but all 2 0 wins. The Cychania looked quite impressive against the Stegosaurus, but it did have to work for its wins against the Steg, as the Steg definitely put up a fight. This one didn't, again, the Sauropelto was quite unlucky in its match, not getting off any sand traps, but the Edmontonia took full advantage of it. And then these two were quite one sided with. Well, the, the normal Wuhosaurus did, did even get a hit. Alpha Wuhosaurus showing its dominance. And then over here, the Armatus looked mightily impressive against the Gigant Spinosaurus. And despite the fight back from the Gigant Spinosaurus in the second matchup, it just didn't have enough to, to defeat Armatus. So yeah, these will be our matches for the... Well, for, the, for round two, we'll say. For round two. But until then, this has been... This has been fun, but we're going to end the session here, so stay tuned for next time, where we will conclude round one with these four lovely matches. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.